Assalamu alaikum. Welcome to Islamic Diplomat. Today we're diving into an intriguing question. Who was the God that Jesus and his followers worshipped? Did Jesus say Allah? Let's explore the linguistic, historical, and theological perspectives to understand this better. Firstly, let's talk about the language of Jesus. Peace and blessings be upon him. Jesus spoke Aramaic, a Semitic language, very close to the Hebrew and Arabic. In Aramaic, the term for God, Allah, or Allah, which is a sound remarkably similar to the Arabic word Allah. This isn't just a coincidence. This language shares a common root. In fact, if you've seen the Mel Gibson movie, The Passion of Christ, you might recall a dialogue where Jesus used the word Allah. Take how long you say Menachma. This highlights how Jesus addressed God in his native tongue, a term very familiar to us Muslims. The Peshitta, the Aramaic New Testament, consistently uses the word Allah for God. This is significantly because it suggests that early Christians, particularly those who spoke Aramaic, referred to God using a term almost identical to Allah. Now let's consider the practice of Jesus and his disciples. In Acts 3.1, it states that Peter and John went to the temple for prayer. This wasn't any prayer, it was a Jewish hour prayer, including sacrifice. This shows even after the ascension, his closest followers continued to worship the, as devout Jews, adhering to the Jewish laws and customs. Prominent Roman Catholics theologians Hans notes that earliest followers of Jesus were essentially a Jewish community centered around his teachings. It wasn't until later with the influence of Paul of Tarsus that Christianity began to diverge significantly from the Jewish roots. This brings us to a critical juncture that is mentioned in the Quran. <laughs> This verse invites Jews and Christians to recognize a common ground that we share, the worship of one God without partners. Both Judaism and Islam emphasize a strict monotheism. The Islamic concept of God as Allah aligns closely with the Jewish understanding of Elohim. In contrast, the later Christian doctrine of the Trinity presents a more complex theological framework. So when we look at, at the evidence and it becomes clear that Jesus was a devout Jew, used the term for God, is very familiar to us Muslims, this reinforces the idea that at its core, the message of Jesus was one of monotheism, calling to the worship of the one true God. I hope you found this exploration enlightening. Let's continue to seek knowledge and understand the deep connection between our faiths. Until next time, Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Like, share and subscribe.